Hello everybody and welcome back for another toolbox safety topic video. Before we get started, make sure you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos. Also subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find additional toolbox safety topic videos, other safety related videos and leadership training videos. Well, let's get right into it. Today's toolbox safety topic video is about lockout tag out controlling hazardous energy now lockout tag out refers to safety practices and procedures designed to prevent injuries and deaths caused by the unexpected activation of machinery and equipment or the release of other hazardous en hazardous energy while workers perform maintenance, repairs, cleaning, adjusting, or servicing activities. A lockout involves using a security device or lock to prevent the unintentional startup of equipment. Tag out is the practice of using tags to make workers aware that equipment should not be energized until the lock and tag are removed. Now following is a list of some common energy sources and the potential hazards they create for you. First there's electricity. It could result in electrical shock and burns. And then there's hydraulic pressure. A high pressure spray and or a machine movement. Then there's thermal energy, burns and or frostbite. Then there's gravity, crushing injuries and engulfment. Fluids, drowning and suffocation. Chemical energy, chemical exposure, fire and burns. There's mechanical energy, which would, could result in amputation and or crushing injuries. Then we have pneumatic energy, pressure release and machine movement. Before working on, repairing, adjusting or replacing machinery or equipment, notify the affected employees that the equipment will be out of service. Shut down the machinery or equipment following the appropriate procedures. Remember that different equipment may have different procedures. Place switches in the off position. Isolate all energy control devices. Disconnect the electricity. Block moving parts. Release stored energy. Drain and bleed line. Block, vent, and drain fluid lines. Disconnect pneumatic lines. And lower suspended parts to their rest position. After that, place a lock on all energy sources and isolation devices. Verify isolation. Check voltages on circuits. Check pressure on gauges and fluid lines. Attempt to start the equipment or activate the system in the norm normal manner and from all control points. Then, return all control devices to the off or neutral position. Remember that if more than one employee is, is assigned to a task requiring a lockout tagout, each of them must place his or her own, own lock and tag on each energy isolating device. Once the task is finished, it is time to reverse your steps. Only the person who performed the lockout tagout procedure is allowed to remove the lock and tag. 
Before a locker tag is removed and the energy is restored, the work area should be inspected. Make sure everyone is accounted for. All the guards on the machinery are replaced and all tools and materials are out of the way. Safety reminder. When doing lockout tag out, identify, isolate, release, lockout, verify, inspect, and clear. Those are the procedures we use for lockout tag out. Where you're working, if you're for a contractor, it may be a little more complicated than that. It depends on the machinery, the scenario, the policy for a particular company or places of work. All right, guys, that's it for the weekly toolbox safety topic. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, make sure you give me a thumbs up down below here to encourage me to make more videos. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you will find additional toolbox safety topic videos, other safety related videos, and leadership training videos. And as always, until we see each other again, take care of yourself because you're number one. Look out for your co-workers and help ensure their safety. And I will see you in the field.